And so we reach our watery grave. Hello, I'd like to welcome one Ogma back to Human Fall Flat. An exciting video game about a man who goes on a rowing boat and then rows, rows, rows his boats gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Row, row. Row that boat. Gently down the stream. I know we're technically in a lake. But hey, it's just a dream. Oh man. Oh, so many people complain about this being annoying, and I'm gonna tell you, it's not that bad. Just gotta hold on the pedals. And let nature take its hold. I don't know how the the, 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 the raft works actually. I'm pretty sure it works somehow. But the raft doesn't actually move. I think you have to jump and propel it that way, but... Ugh. Ugh. I just need you to go back over to my rowing boat. <coughs> oh great, it, it doesn't want to. <laughs> oh, come on, man. That's just horribly unfair. Now I have to maneuver this fucking thing somewhere. I'm on my rowing boat. It's just more fun that way. See, because... Despite what everyone says about the raft being the the coolest vehicle in 2014, it's also the fact the raft kind of sucks. <clears throat> it's like you go off the boat for ten fucking seconds, and the game immediately loses all of its shit. Damn it! I just wanna get on my rowing boat. Already breaking physics to do this. Don't get close enough. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Just believe in yourself. Ah, oh, yeah. That's what happens when you believe in yourself, kids. Shit gets done. There we go. Yep. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> oh man, my throat's just not working today. Um, I mentioned last video that a lot of people complain about the the motorboat and having to push it in the water. The reason is that here's a motorboat and it's that's all right. I guess getting it into the water is a good idea. But a lot of people thought that that's the thing you're supposed to be doing when you're not supposed to. It's just the thing you can do. It doesn't mean you should. I mean, there's a lot you can do in this game. There's a lot of ways you can cheese the levels and and just say no. Doesn't mean that's the recommended way of doing it. I mean, why would you spend 10 to 15 minutes pulling this thing into the water? I mean, sure, it's nice and dandy, but you can be at the big boat already. Yep. If you just believe in yourself. I went for a nice walk today. And after that nice walk, I got myself some ice cream. I made that walk because my stepmother cannot eat anything but halal meats, so I had to go all the way to the to the to the to the, to the city and visit the shop with the halal meats. It's a nice walk. At least I got that much out, of it. and I got a nice little ice cream out of it. it. Was a very good weather, nice and sunny, good wind. You know, I think it's better if I hold onto the actual handle instead of their tips. Remember that, kids. Never hold on to just the tip. So people do when they're insecure about themselves. You see, see, you can give a lot more pr 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 pressure that way. God, just hold on to it, Bob. I understand you're nervous about the technique you use. That doesn't mean you can just go and loaf around like an oaf. 
The good part is that once you get the boat going, it actually keeps going pretty good. I bought some games today. Big Fish Legend, um, Abzu, Little King Story. They might come up at some point. I'm waiting for Little King Story to fix its shit, though. I might do Abzu after this one. It'll be a nice follow-up. <sighs> Such a nice relaxing. My father tried to teach me to sail once. Sailing is fine. It's a good old time. Rented a little boat. And just went for it. That was a long while back by now, though. You know, if you're looking for something good to watch, I would heartily recommend the wonderful 101 playthrough done by Super Best Friends. It is one heck of a hype train. Recently bought it up in their near videos, and I'm like, you know, I, I remember that wonderful 101 playthrough. That was a hoot. That was such an adventure, though. That th that 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 game has some incredibly good. Um, maybe the story. I don't know 100 percent about the story, but I do remember that the pacing is fantastic. It really grips you, and perhaps the editing salvaged some of it, and it actually isn't all that good. Do you know what they say? Ah, oh, Fritz. That's um. An oversight at best. Um, I'll figure something out. There we are. Took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but you know. So you might see these crates, and you'll be like, hmm. Those crates are awfully nicely detailed. The answer is yes, they are, and I will be making full use of that. It will be eating up a large portion of the video, but you know what? Why not? There's two achievements for this boat, by the way. There's one for just driving the boat in, and another for driving the boat in a certain way. Ease it up, ease it up, ease it up, ease it up. Back it off, back it off. I need to back off a certain way. Like this, maybe? No, 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 other way, other way, other way, other way, other way. okay, 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 okay. Okay, then we just back it off, take both, and then we push it! Come on, Bob. And to ease up on the right, I think. Okie do. Ease it up, ease it up, ease it up. Keep it moving. Keep her moving. Hmm. <clears throat> What a nice relaxing boat trip this became. I think I might have to ease up on the left soon. Start pulling in the corner. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one, though. Start the aiming process. I need to get in there perfectly. Oh, 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 keep, keep, oh, keep her steady. So much smoke in that area for some reason. Okay, let's, let's, let's ease her up. Let's give her give her a twist. I have no idea why that works that way. If the rudders are in the back, that's not how those maneuvers would actually work out. Oh, come on, come on. We got her, we got her, we got her, we got her. I say pedal to the metal. We'll hack a little squid. We're in the driver's seat, and we're behind the wheel. Let's go brick by brick. Don't forget to talk like Nick. And now we take him off the pedals. That's it. Engines all shut down. We land it. Repeat, we just made a perfect landing. Now, I'm only going to do this to one of them because this is surprisingly tough to do. I'm going to hook up one of those crates. This is such a nice part, though. This is basically what I wanted from this game. is these weird interactables with all these buttons. That's forward, backwards, and this one is sideways. Uh, which crate? I think we're going to go for the yellow. No, the orange crate. It's not one that's here yet, so let's go with the orange crate. 
Let's go and haul ourselves some loads. Okay, we want this puppy as dead center as we can get it. Uh, that's about right. Is it above orange or not? Hmm. Take her down. Take her down. Okay, 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 okay. That's not. That's not above it at all. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's probably too far, ain't it? No, it depends. Okay, okay, it's right above orange. That's good. Oi, oi, captain, me captain. We got is we gotta figure out how this chain's gonna connect. Okay, it's gonna connect on the outside. I gotta take one of these puppers. You don't have to do this, by the way. This is uh, like so non-optional that there's really nothing related to it. Okay, so when does we want to get the hook, hook, line, and sinker in there? Okay. Oh, ah, oh, but it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. That's what. That's all that matters. Is that it's in there? Is that when push comes to shove, those chains are gonna pull taunt, taunt, taunt. It's taunt, right? Yeah, taunt. No, taut. Such a weird word. I didn't... I never learned that word. It sounds like an important word you'd learn in English class. You know? It's like, by the way, the English word for, for, for something being tight is not tight. It's taunt. God, I look like a fool. I might need this thing to go a little more for, off to the side, but whatever. You can do this, Bob. I just need you to believe in yourself and let your cow rowl. Come on, Bob. I didn't go to sailor school for nothing. Okay, okay, it's in there. It's in there. I just needed to pull taunt properly. We'll let we'll let we'll let we'll let, we'll let gravity sort this uh, sort the details out. It needs to be enough that once it starts going up, because the way it's going to go up, it's going to go up diagonally, right? So when it's going to pull, it's going to pull the the hooks a little bit off. Upwards and a little bit forwards, so they're gonna hook right into it. As long as that, no, no. Oh, I could have, could have undone all my hard labor, all my hard work, all my hopes and dreams and efforts, ruined by a chain that would not be taunt. Taunt. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. All right, Bob, Bobaruni, Bobareski. We got one more chain to pull. Yeah, they look pretty good. Although once we get to the actual pulling part, we're gonna have to be ultra duper, super duper careful. Like you can ignore this part and just use the the cable machine itself as the platform that you need to get up there. Because I'll I'll give you a look see in a moment once we get this thing set oh up. But you cannot escape having to control this platform, like. You're gonna have to work with it. You're gonna have to climb up this thing and go up there at some point. Unless you're, you know, planning to climb all the way around those bu buildings. Let's see. Pull tot, pull tot, pull tot, pull tot. Oh! Yeah! We did it! And now we get to go. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah, yes, we did it. We pulled up a cargo. Now we're gonna dump it. You know that's nice. Is that you can do this? You can, you can you can you can transport all of them ashore. I think I might want to push this one back a bit. This, by the way, well, someone living in the Netherlands. I kind of appreciate this and everything it stands for because this is not too far off from how these things actually oh god it's gonna it's gonna go all kinds of wacky ways isn't it oh no oh no oh no ah! Ah! for the love of Jiminy Christmas oh no one of the hooks came off ah frick I can't fix that that's unfixable okay okay did it? Did it reapply? 
That's magical. That is god that's a goddamn Christmas miracle if I ever did see one. I know it's not even Christmas, but that's a goddamn Christmas miracle. Look at that Christmas miracle. That's a Christmas miracle. The August nonetheless. How does that even happen? The answer is it doesn't. That's how big of a Christmas miracle that is. Okay, so coming up, another uh, multi-path thing we can go. Oh, this this part. We can go inside the, the, the shit tunnel. Which I'm going to do. Because it's zero effort to come back out of this. Or we can take the, the box road. First, I'm going to show you this. Oh, I, by the way, don't do that. Like, the whole water has this sense of motion to it, and then you have this stagnant waterfall that just does not work. I like how they set up so that you're like, oh, I gotta climb up there because there's a little ramp leading up, but no. You can do whatever you want. Oh, I love those light lamps. I, I really love those lamps in Starbound. They're very nice little lamps. You know what? I'm actually not going to show you how the boat works. The point is, things float. Some things float, like the boats do, and the box does, and there's a little current. But this lets me skip one of the most annoying puzzles I've ever seen in this game, which is over there, which is you gotta... Oh, I'm probably gonna have to do it once I reset, because I'm probably gonna reset. You gotta unhook that boat, and then you gotta hook it up or something? I don't know. I don't know. This area is extremely fiddly to work with. To the point that I recommend just going for the racing boat, and, and just going over here. So the way this works is really simple. You gotta get a box on that button. And here's, a, here's, here's what surveys are gonna ask. How the fuck do you do that? And the answer is really simple. You pray to 18 goddamn gods all at once. To every single one of the 18 gods you got in that list, you're going to pray to them. And you're going to hope to, to, to Jiminy Christmas that those gods are feeling in a good mood today. I might be dead. But that box is still there, and that's all that matters. Yeah! See, this is why I told you Jiminy Christmas was important. That's so why at the beginning of this video, there's a disclaimer that says it says something about Jiminy Christmas. You better believe in that sucker. I like this, though. I like the way this is done. I don't like this. I don't like how fiddly this is. Man, I'm still in a very movie mood. I think about it. No, that's not long enough, is it? Doesn't matter. Does not matter. What matters now is getting that box on the button. Yeah, that by the way, some really nice. Uh, how did that would look industrially? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. I like how there's an ore, and it's like, do I have to do this manually? No, just, just, just jump. Just jump. You're gonna be okay. And then something. Do 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 do. You can do it. Just believe in yourself. Only with belief in the only true God, which is you, can you win. What, you didn't know you were God? God! How dumb are you gods these days? You can only believe in something that doesn't really exist. Otherwise, you would know. That's why it's called faith. Although I guess that kind of begs the question what hope is. I like how Bob's... I've never used that tunnel, and now I'm kind of curious what that tunnel's about. We'll get to that tunnel, don't worry. I want to learn that tunnel's secrets. This, 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 in my opinion, is actually better than the grappling hook that, that we had to use earlier. 
So this time we gotta use this, this gribbly grabbly pole. It's all gribbly grabbly. I don't really wanna know what's up in that that little spot over there. But don't worry. Now I got a gribbity grabbity, the gribbity groobity. And then we jump in. And then we detach the hook. Goodbye. Now there's a problem. We need this thing to come with us, but it's too unfloaty, as they call it. In in some places they call it non floaty. I prefer the term unsalvageable. I also prefer the term dead. Wow, why is the water so deep? It could have made it not deep and let me climb up there. Oh, whatever. Whatever! I don't know what that big boulder is about. Oh, Bob! 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 I know you're not my sunshine. My only sunshine. That's a manly man's grab. Oh, 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 this time you won't get me. Boat. Why are all these rocks in the air? That's the real American question. The American dichotomy of society. Yeah, now it gets to go under. And then we're gonna catch a ride! Go, go, catching rides! I just caught a ride. Oh, baby. Stick it to me, baby. You gotta get through here, boat. Boat, I need you to do this for me. I know you don't want a boat. I know that somewhere in your life you were you were violently abused by a paddle. But that doesn't change the fact that people need you. And that you need to learn to live your life the way that it should be lived. Thank you. Let his sacrifice never be forgotten! <laughs> I am the great and mighty Bob, for I have arrived at the top of Mount Elmo. You can go up that lighthouse, it's a big climb, and you get an achievement for lighting up the lighthouse. What did that man do? He lit up the lighthouse. Eleven twelve. Eleven twelve. Okay, so the tunnel exited somewhere around here, right? No! Ah, sizzle fritz! Ugh. I like how he's just... Like, there's no ragdoll button, but he's a ragdoll for the first few seconds of a respawn. I don't know why. It's probably so that you can't, you know, do it all cheesy style. I also, the one thing I don't like about this level is that there's two achievements for exiting it. One is for exiting it head first, one is for exiting it body first. It is the most annoying achievement to get, because you have to do the whole fucking level again if you fail. So what is this tunnel for? I don't think you can reach it from down there. Hmm. 
Ooh, it's gonna be a surfing summer. It's gonna be a surfing summer. It's gonna be a surfing summer. Break a leg, though. That's weird. So there's just a tunnel. No reason. Oh. That can happen even when you're not intending it to. So this is an interesting puzzle that I actually kind of like. Um, this puzzle requires you to think a little bit beyond what, what we've usually done. It's like we've come here with this little roller cart, right? Like we're like, oh, the roller cart's done. That that frag fragment of the game is done. Also, even though this thing is here, I'm pretty sure you can climb it if you really want to. You don't have to. There's another way to get up here. Man, I really did like that walk. I think I'm gonna go for a nice sandwich soon. I'm gonna take out the, the toaster and, to and toast myself a, a grand old sandwich. Should we put this here? Ring, go on there. God damn it, ring. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh that looks so good. Now let Poseidon's tears flow! Be gone! Mm. I like this though. It's like you have that really rough part, and you have a couple on you have a couple nice parts, you know. Levels got both worlds. Yo. That just took forever. And I hate it. But that's how things go when you have to play the video games. It's an achievement for not hitting the water. I don't know what the exact requirements are. I do know that I got it on my first go. Also, like, all this junk is just clogging up everything. So what we did is we activated the water wheel. Which, to me, is kind of neat. It's like, hey, you go all the way around, and then you come back to basically where you started. And you could have done that pole thing. I don't know if you can, though. Because I think I tried it once and it never worked out as I expected it to. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's hold it. Hold it. After this, I'm going to get myself a sandwich. Because ice cream is not a good filler. It's nice, but it's not going to fill you very much. Not as much as you'd want. And not just is this the end of the level. This is actually the exit of the level. Fun fact, you can actually turn the lever back, and it will close it again, which is kind of neat. Even as a little light lamp that tells you, oh, don't like that those things sh slide out there, but whatever. I don't know how to go head first, though. I wouldn't know how you do that, but whatever. <sighs> Next up is the final level, which ends this charade, charade, charade. It's the power plant. Where your first inclination might be to do this. It also works, apparently. But... It's not, that's not, it's not, got, it's not the intended method, though. Oh, there's broken wires? I didn't know that, huh. I kind of want to do it again, though, because there is something cool that you'll learn if you do this, this way. No, no, no. So here's what you really want to do. That actually depowers everything, but... By the way, one quick note before I start this level. If you have any troubles, 
the cable colors don't matter at all. The color of the cables is just more of a, of a hint of like an indicator of clo to connect this one to this one. But it doesn't mean anything. So yeah, you're supposed to take the wires with you because they let you do this. Blowing up that fan, if I remember, does something for you eventually. You know what they say. There's a battery. That's pretty cool. I like this level, though. It's really... It's it's impressive for what it is. Yeah, there's the fan. And I think it just gives you something to put down on that thing without having to fiddle around with the doors. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Whenever the heck this is going to happen. Which probably tomorrow. After that, maybe... Maybe little, maybe Big Fish Legend. That's a fun, looks like a fun hoot of a game. You know how it goes with those video games nowadays. I like to keep some variety in things. Variety.